It's Gracie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, nice to have you. Thanks for joining. And if you're returning, thanks for sticking around. Um, today's video, I'm going to do a little breakdown of my college. I feel like the college as a whole needs some more videos from like student experience, student experiences. So I thought I would share my students, student experience. Why can't I not talk? <sighs> Breath. English. I thought I would share my student experience about the University of South Carolina here today with you guys. So I'm going to talk about the pros and cons at the University of South Carolina. I feel like I have some good experience under my belt. I did freshman year and now basically halfway done with my sophomore year. So with all that being said, I'm going to talk a little bit about pros and cons of the University of South Carolina. Let's start with pros, and I do want to preface that this college is not for everybody. This is my experience. This is, um, you know, the things that I've learned from it. Um, I will say also with that is what you put in is what you're going to get out. If you allow yourself to stay kind of like sheltered and like in your room and not like branching out, like you're not going to get anything. Like somebody's not going to come knock on your door and be like, hey, let's go do this. It could happen. I'm not going to say it won't, but like, it's not typical that that's going to be your experience. You're going to have to go out. You're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. Um, and I think that's just college in general. So yeah, pros. Um, I just love this college. It feels so much like home to me. Um, I've met so many great friends, people who are basically identical to me. There's two of my best friends right now. We all drive the exact same model of the exact same car. We all drive Honda Accords. And like, it, it's just so funny to us that and like it's the same year everything like it's crazy to us um but yeah that is just i mean i've just met so many people that are just like me and um we share some views and different stuff like that and it's just been awesome to meet them and to do life with them um also interactions with professors and staff off campus and on campus like it's more than just the campus feels like home but the city feels like home i work at Publix, and my professors come in all the time and I'm able to talk with them, ask them questions if I need to, or just just communicate with them like normal human beings. And like, it just, I think like you can't find that or it's not talked about that at other schools and campuses. So I just love that aspect of it. But again, with the, you don't get in what you put out, like I work in this, the community, like I didn't do that, I wouldn't have that aspect of it. So again, it's what you put in is what you're gonna get out. Um, but yeah, it's just a welcoming environment. You know, a lot of schools I see pictures of like college campuses It's just like this big old building and like a couple chairs like it's I think it's different here Like it's so much more of like homey colors and like just cozy vibes like just in general Like there's never been I've never been in a building and been like this is such a cold unwelcoming environment like It just this college just makes you feel like like I'm in like my my home on my couch like I don't know it just that sounds so cheesy but I just I've always been able to find a place where I'm like mm, this feels good I can relax let's do my school work um so yeah there are so many opportunities on campus there are literally a million one things you can do um which is another pro to this co like college like there's always something you can do if you don't want to do this or you know whatever um on my nights where I don't work or don't have like homework I need to do, I can always find something like free through our college. Um, for example, like our school always hosts something like free night. There's Thursday after dark, which is like bowling alley on Thursday, ice skating ring on Thursday. Um, sometimes they like do like at the state fairs in town, they have that, or like we have a minor league baseball team, they'll have tickets for that for free. There's just always something to do that the school hosts for free in a week. Um, paints, like there's something for everybody. There's a million and one clubs. I mean, for any possible topic you could think of, if, or rather for like your culture or your nationality or your hobby. One of my friends I know, she's literally in a club where all they do is just listen to, al to music and albums that are released that week and they just talk about it. And that's what she likes to do. And she loves it. So, I mean, there's literally something for everybody. Um, and yeah, I just love that. Also, intramural and club sports. That's something else that is just so, mon so much fun for people. I play several of them and I love them. I love meeting people through it. It's just an awesome experience for me. Um, yeah, I just would not have it any other way. I play like 
I've played one every term. So like, I've always been playing one intramural sport this semester. I played sand volleyball, kickball, basketball. What else did I play this semester? That, that was something else. I don't know. But I've I played several of them. Um, badminton, literally, th there's so many. There's Mario Kart, there's everything you can think of. So yeah, that's something else um, that is positive about this campus. Um, and then the, I guess the last big pro is just the city that we're in. Like Columbia is beautiful and just Columbia as a, a whole is just a huge big city. And there's so many areas of it that like, there's the area of town that's like for families and cute little like children and schools and all that fun stuff. And they're like the, the part of city, the part of Columbia that's like, you can tell it's like for the people who've graduated but are still working here. Like, it's just, there's so many cute areas of town, shopping centers and stuff like that, that you can just always find something to do outside of that. Um, there's always like every Saturday, literally like a rain or shine, there is a flea market downtown and it's just the cutest thing ever. There's like different vendors and like, that is a staple to people's college experience here. It is just awesome. And there's food and coffee and flowers and produce and live music. It is just literally awesome. And you can always find somebody you know there. Um, also the college is just in a very central location. So Columbia is in South Carolina and about two hours up from it is Charlotte, North Carolina, which is a big city. And then like an hour and a half is Augusta, Georgia. Two hours, about two, two and a half hours is Atlanta. An hour and a half is Charleston, Greenville. Like it's just such a central location and it's perfect. So like this past weekend, I drove like seven hours to Nashville with my, my friends. But like this pa coming weekend, I'm driving like five hours to Florida. So like it's just in a central location where you can just drive anywhere. Like if you have friends that go to other colleges, it's perfect. You can meet up in the central place and it's just, it's just a good location, a good city. Um, also to not to mention, there's incredible sunsets. The school is like kind of on a hill. So like you can oversee like basically all of Columbia, like from this parking garage, it's called Horizon. And you can literally see the whole horizon. It's, it's a perfect name. And it is like just the most beautiful place to see the magnificent sunsets of Columbia. So yeah, that is that. And then also the, okay, one more, the campus life. I love this campus. I just, I went to Nashville, like I mentioned, so we were on, like, at Vanderbilt School, and that building, like, this, the campus just seemed kind of confusing. Like, there's this big old natural building, but, like, it had no wordage on it. It didn't say what this building was for. Like, in Columbia, at the University of South Carolina, if you see a building, it's going to say the arts or the biology center or the chemistry. Like, like it's going to say math center. Like, it's not going to leave you clueless, you know? Like, you can always find what you're looking for and where you need to be. On maps, if you need to lose, like, you're lost, it's gonna find, you're gonna be able to easily find it. Um, so I love that about it. And then the dorms, like, are not bad at all. Like, most everyone I know here has pleasant dorm experiences. Maybe not roommate experience, but dorm experiences. Um, and I just wanna preface with that. I think everybody I know has had a bad roommate experience. I think it's just unavoidable if, unless you live by yourself, which that's like, I really wanna do that because like, I mean, if you really like can afford it financially and like it's just a must for you, obviously do that, take your route. But like, I would make yourself live with somebody, even if it's just one person, like you're gonna learn something um, from them. But yeah, the dining halls are wonderful Wonderful here. I'd like have no complaints. Um, I mean, other than like, could they speed it up a little bit? Yeah, you, you can't do that when there's 30,000 people who go to school here necessarily. But yeah, I just, this school, I just love this place. Oh, I could cry because I love it here so much. Um, and there's just, it's just such an awesome experience. Okay, now the cons, because like everything, it does pros come with cons. Um, but I kind of go on back to the city. This is a, a city, like, and this is our capital. So you're gonna have government, you know, officials and stuff like that. So there's traffic, um, and game day traffic is kind of brutal, but like everyone just warns you if you don't, aren't coming for game day, kind of stay clear of like downtown because it's just gonna be brutal. But yeah, so that's the that's the con and like, you know, in high travel times, like if I'm coming back and forth from my apartment to campus, like a five minute drive might be like a 15, which is annoying, but like, again, it's a city, like it's to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, and trains, whoo, girlies. There are trains everywhere. Again, a city, it's capital, Union Station, like there's just so much stuff here that like there's gonna be trains. 
and the trains are obviously going to have to go through places and they're definitely going to go through places where it would be like messing up your commute to school or something and also the dorm i stayed in my freshman year uh 20 feet away train track and the train would come in the middle of the night and like the first week two weeks oh it woke me up i was like honey i'm trying to sleep but i'm telling you you get immune like a train sound becomes like a humming noise it becomes what happened here it just cut off but basically i'm just trying to say that like trains just become like the sound machine for you to sleep they literally just rock you to bed um but yeah that sounds weird but it's just the truth so it's not deal breaker but it is a factor that like you hear trains you know you get it but i genuinely think if i was going through the mission process of college again i would 100 percent still pick usc if i knew all this information and had the years of experience i did um, or had someone else who told me their years of experience um to me at you know during my senior year so i definitely wanted to put this video out there um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you already haven't and i'll see you in the next one bye